For the fifth straight year, we are going to have a brand new champion in FBO at the LWS Open at Idlewild. We are in Burlington, Kentucky. The LWS Open is presented by Dynamic Discs and the Natty and Idlewild. Long-standing Pro Tour track. Own Scoggins out in front by three strokes over Deanne Carey. Raven Klein and Morgan Linz will join those two on the lead card today. Very nice for Merch. Nice make from Cap Merch. She gets to one over, tied for sixth. Walker's going. That's pretty low. Oh, but what a skip, and it gets across and safe. Wow, she didn't like it out of her hand. I was worried that she had turned that over too much, but it stable enough, it comes back, and she's not even putting towards the water. She's putting away from it, which is very nice. Klein. Fading a little too fast. Great putt to start her day. Just a little stepper. And Own puts it inside the circle. Fantastic. Madison Walker. We go back to the fourth. Natalie Ryan for an eagle. Yes. Ryan now into third place. Four shots back of Scoggins. Here we go, Raven Klein. For the first birdie ever in FPO on this layout. Has to straddle right. Gets it to go left side. What a birdie for Raven Klein. That gets her back to two under par, four shots back of Scoggins. Assess that lie, and if she crossed in in a moment, Ryan. Massive shot off the tee. Enormous. Almost far enough down the fairway that she could attempt an eagle. And she converts. Three down for Ryan. Four shots back of Scoggins, tied with Raven Klein in second place. Yeah, it's the first time today that we've really felt any wind at all, and Owen just backed off of it a little bit because it started gusting. It's a little bit of headwind right to left, so the, the backhand hyzer kind of pushes toward the water. As she puts it underneath the basket, she'll have a drop-in birdie. Could have a chance. A great shot from Linz. Can Owen extend the lead? You bet. Owen Scoggins. Another birdie to get to nine under par. That's three in a row. Gets around the corner and way up the fairway. Clean look at the basket, although a little bit pinched off perhaps by these trees. It's not a problem. Oh, and Scoggins is on fire. Inside of 20 feet and how she wants to approach those putts. It's a dangerous putt that close to the basket, the spin putt. Yeah, you need to use that. 
Nice shot from Deanne and a high five from Owen. For Birdie, it would be her first of the day. Yes, that's got to feel good. Great approach shot from Carey. Ryan misses the line to the left side, but it slides its way up into potential putting range. To the 11th, Ryan for birdie. Sticks it. So she's within five shots of Own Scoggins. Own test that left side. Puts it inside the circle. Own. Yes. Six down on the day. A six-shot lead over Natalie Ryan. Puts herself just outside of circle one. Natalie will be putting for birdie. Edge of the circle for Carey. Just missed getting over the plateau. Just been a really tough. Front nine. Knocks down the birdie though here. Unbelievable approach by Natalie. Punting for birdie. And great round going for Natalie Ryan. She's also seven under on the day. So good from Owen. And here's Owen for birdie. Eight down on the day. Seven shot lead once again. One under is 973 rated today. Own is at eight down. What could we see? Smashed by Ryan uphill. Second shot for Walker on the 15th. Great spot to be after your drive. Pretty turn all the way to the edge of the bullseye. Jump putt for Own, and she hits the tree and falls into the OB. Currently Own with a nine shot lead over Ryan. And how about that little chip up that Ryan had on the 15th? Incredible drive. Oh. Making easy work of that hole. Maybe a disc don't lie situation. It will be a double bogey for Own Scoggins. Her first of the tournament. To the 16th. Yep. Big drive from Ryan. Own to save par. Oh my. And a tough bogey for Own Scoggins. Going to drop her to 10 under. She's five shots in front of Ryan. But Ryan could get an eagle on 16 and make things interesting. Getting low under the trees and puts it in the bullseye. That is a hard shot to make with those trees causing such a low clearance. And there is her putt for the birdie. She moves to one under par on the event. So here's the eagle look for Ryan. Not going for it. Natalie had the drop in birdie on 16. And 
that's going to find the OB. So that's probably going to do it for Natalie Ryan's hopes. Easily getting underneath those branches, putting it very close to the basket. Oh, what a kick and a bounce and a roll onto the green for Linz. Wow. And Holland Hanley taps it in for the birdie. And despite a very tumultuous tournament, Holland Hanley climbs back into fifth place with three straight birdies on 16, 17, 18. Speaks to just how high her ceiling is because she played very poorly for herself and still ends up top five. It will be Scoggins. That is a common landing zone. There is Natalie Ryan tapping in for par on 18. Locking up second place here at Idlewild. And setting a new course record, seven under par, tentatively rated 10-13. Then earlier this year, taking down the open at Austin. Wants it to sneak yeah. through. Well, she's going to have a look. Own winning on remarkably different courses. Kerry hits the birdie putt. That's the way to close it out. But the star of the show is Own Scoggins. Her third Pro Tour victory. champions, Owen Scoggins. Let's go! <laughs> and if you guys didn't hear, yesterday was your birthday. Yes. Well, this this winning is my birthday present. Yes. So yesterday is my birthday. So what is a celebrate for me right here? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Perfect. Owen <laughs> awesome. Scoggins. Yes. You turned 43 years old this weekend. Yes. And you just won an Elite Series event. How does it feel? Uh, man, amazing. Give me some beer, come on. <laughs> no, I feel, thank you. I feel great. Um, what a celebrate my birthday, you know. Um, it's just, it's, I feel so blessing, uh, blessing and just over the moon. Um, God, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do after this. I might just go crazy tonight. <laughs> I have been second place two years in a row. Wow. If I second place this year will be three years in a row. I said, Oh, are, are you tired of second plate yet? <laughs> I was like, come on, man, you need to do something, you know. Um, and and I feel good because uh, last week at um, uh, what's that, um, Leadstone, yeah. I was like, man, you know, the court is very nice, but it's not suit my game. I know like this one, I have a chance, and that's why I'm very ex exciting, and it does. So yeah. I can look at the score, it's not affect me. I just want to know what uh, who is close to me, if I need to lay up or do I have to make aggressive here and there? Um, you know, but of course, even that, I have like four or five stroke lead. I'm still nervous, you know. I still like, make a dumb mistake out there, and I shake my head. I'm like, wow, what are you doing? But, you know, I always forgive myself and move on. Um, yeah, um, the route today, we just um, go with uh, the one, I, uh, uh, what, what my plan, yeah. All right, guys, you heard it from your champion, Owen Scoggins. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.
What is up everyone? Thanks for watching today. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the Disc Golf Pro Tour YouTube channel and also stay tuned to the Disc Golf Network. We're bringing you live coverage all season long.